Don't mind me, I'm just setting up something to... See, this, this little doodad is... Funny you should ask, ask that, McLean, because I'm actually going to show that off today. Um, it, I don't know if you've been paying attention to my Twitter account this week, but I was uh, talking about uh, getting this stuff set up on uh, to play on private servers online. There are a couple choices, and one of them is uh, Shtahack. I don't know exactly how to pronounce it. The video that I used to help guide it called it Shithack, but I don't like being uh, vulgar like that, so Shtahack is what I'm going to call it. So, I guess now is good time as any to, to, to show it off here. So I'm just going to turn on my WaveBird controller and get started. Now, do I have the right memory card inserted? That's the next question. Uh, no I don't. So let's swap out memory cards. That's it. Well, there's Vicky. Alright, so... Basically, the way that it works is you're, you're kind of telling your console to go somewhere else when you set this up. Then it's actually pretty simple. And it doesn't require like a, a hunter's license or anything like that. Just get a key generator for the uh, for the serial numbers that you need. But you just uh, but when you click on that, bam! It's pretty simple. You see right here, I'm on the uh, the hack server. This is just a quick little message of the day. And then I can then you can it's like usually there's only one ship up. And that's Atlas. And you do, and the um, Oh, hey. Makes goofy little noises whenever it's time to feed my Mac, okay. So we'll just ignore that. <laughs> oh, no. I don't want that. I don't want the loop. I'm going to close that for now. <laughs> but anyway. So here we go. See? Yep, we're online. There's a bunch of people running around. Being goofy. I think this guy's actually a uh, an episode three player, which is the uh, card revolution game. And as you can see, it just depend they're pretty 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 smooth actually. Yeah, you can set up your own team. See, there's cheats. There's already teams already get here set up. They're probably all doing, like, missions of the... Yep, they're already doing missions and such. But if I ever... But if any of you guys ever got this this set up, I would totally name the, uh... the game Dole Stream. And just to make sure that I'm only playing with uh, with with uh, people that I know, you you guys from the stream, the the password be be my best good friend Brick Road, just like that. So if you were to get on it onto the hack server, you'd be able to hop onto this and, and join me with uh, with with uh, Brickred as a password to the Dolstream game. But yeah, it's uh, this is online. Uh, the online. Uh, yeah, there's multiple lobbies online. This is actually what the PSO lobbies look like in the original, in the uh, Dreamcast version. That's all good, McLean.
Uh, I think there's also a... Yep, there's a soccer. There's a soccer lobby too, which is so goofy. See, let's see if the, uh, the soccer ball will spawn. Oh yeah, hey, here we go. You got little goals you can kick. So you got, you got this little soccer ball here and you just kind of run into it. Enough of this goofing around. I promised you guys beating up robots on Twitter, so that's what I'm gonna do. And hello, Runner J, how are you doing today? All right, I've done I've done a couple things to Vicky since we were last since I last streamed. What I've done is I've actually I got some more materials from other characters while playing this, so I, I gave them to her. So she's got a little bit she got a little higher MST in evade. I gave her. <laughs> nice one, Runner J. Um. But yeah, what I've done is I, I boosted her MST with some um, materials, so that let me uh, give her a few new techniques, uh, just level up some of her other techniques. And um, I did find uh, I did find a uh, material on another character. This right here, this wizard technique. What you see right here, it says raises all techniques level techniques by one level. So whenever I slap that on here, it effectively boosts my techniques levels by one. So yeah, when I, earlier I showed you a Bardo level three or level two, now it's level three, and, it's the, and that's the story with all the techniques. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with the thief legs. There's one other uh, unit that I forgot to transfer over from another character, and that would be a, uh, a TP regeneration item. But I'll do I'll, I'll just deal with that. No, you also notice I have a lot of money, and that's what's and and I have that in storage. So you can only store up to one sh one shy of a million Masetta in this game. So. You, you end up with a, with a lot of excess Vesetta. But anyway, um, how am I doing on inventory? Okay, I need more mono fluids. Because currently I'm using mono fluids to feed the man. All 
Alright. So last time we uh, we beat Del Rolay, the boss of the caves. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here to Oh. Oh dear. You know, actually I remember now I forgot to talk to Principal Tyrell to uh, unlock the next plot flag for uh, the, the fort for the mines, so Actually, we're going to be going to the caves and beating up dudes here. As you can see, I've switched from the wand to this weapon that's a pole. It's similar to the uh, to the rod from before. It's just got a... Uh, it, it's blue now instead of green. All of the weapon, all of the basic weapons in this game have a similar uh, progression. Uh, where they change... where... Uh, as weapons get uh, stronger, that well, basically, there's a each class of weapons. There's like five different tiers. Each tier has a different color, and blue is the second tier of weapons. And as you can see, I'm kind of just wrecking dudes now. So since you've never seen PSO before, or rather you don't know much about it, McLean, feel free to ask questions if you're uh, if you're interested. But the basic info is I am playing Vicky, a force, which means I use techniques to deal to deal the bulk of my damage. So unlike hunters and forces, or hunters and rangers, which are the other two uh, classes in this game, forces had to pay attention more to elemental weaknesses than the other classes. Because with a hunter or a ranger, you just press the attack button until the monster dies, and it really doesn't matter what you, uh, what weapon you use, because you'll kill, kill them. With forces, however, it gets a little trickier because some monsters resist. Uh, certain elemental damage, like you saw when I was tr when I kill killing the Guile Shark with uh, with when I hit it with Gabarda right there, it dealt it dealt about 80 damage. But when I hit it with a uh, with with Zonde, the lightning technique, it dealt a lot more damage there. Did I not hit the switch? Oh, that's the way out. Yeah, I totally didn't hit the switch. My bad. 